We pray for Ukraine or Ukraine. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. No more hurting animals, humans, and beasts. Be vegan. Make peace. Do good deed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Taluno non eletto canonicamente nel momento di quella tribolazione, assunto al papato con l'astuzia del suo errore, macchinerà di porger la morte al molti. Please watch on for Prophecy Part 258, The Divine Prophetic Wisdom of St. Francis of Assisi, Vegetarian. Do you think aggression is an excuse to murder someone? I believe that all animals deserve respect, and animals struggling with aggressive behaviors deserve patience and compassion. When a human child has aggressive behaviors, we get them help, we don't kill them. Why should this be any different? Zoe Rosenberg, vegan. Warm greetings, esteemed viewers. As you immerse yourself in the enriching culture of Italy, you may encounter the delightful salutation Come which translates to how marvelous it is today. I am Chiara an artist devoted to the restoration of frescoes so that their timeless beauty may continue to be appreciated for generations to come.
The joyful people of Italy applaud your unwavering dedication to the vegan lifestyle. May your loving vegan voyage serve as a catalyst for nurturing a world of respect and dignity for all beings. Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed, their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the divine's guidance, and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. During tumultuous times, our world yearns for those who embody hope and serve as beacons of light. Among the compassionate and wise, some step forward and assume influential roles to carry out their noble missions. However, not all who declare goodness truly embody it, and some ascend to their positions through deceit and illegitimate means. As forewarned and prophesied, such occurrences are mentioned in St. Francis of Assisi's prophecy. In this episode, we unveil the revelations from St. Francis of Assisi Vegetarian, exposing the audacious individual who has illicitly grasped a position of significant influence with malicious intent. After having received the stigmata of Christ, the venerated St. Francis of Assisi lived in constant pain and almost totally blind for two years. Shortly before his physical departure, St. Francis of Assisi called all members of his order and foretold them of the coming great tribulations and the danger of a false pope. Che avverrebbe un grande scisma e una grave tribulazione nella Chiesa, poco innanzi la morte convocati i frati, gli ammonì delle future tribolazioni, dicendo Diportatevi virilmente, o fratelli, fatevi animo e aspettate pazientemente il Signore. S'affrettano a venire i tempi di una grande tribolazione ed afflizione nei quali le perplessità e i pericoli temporalmente e spiritualmente inonderanno. Si raffredderà la carità di molti e soprabbonderà l'iniquità dei malvagi. The venerated St. Francis of Assisi also warned Taluno non eletto canonicamente nel momento di quella tribolazione, assunto al papato con l'astuzia del suo errore, macchinerà di porger la morte al molti. In other words, a false pope would come to be in power as the head of the Catholic Church at the Vatican. Nature mirrored Pope Benedict's premonitory with omens of lightning reported in the news. Within hours of Pope Benedict announcing that he was to resign, take a look at this. Lightning strikes St. Peter's Basilica. You can see it again now in slow motion. Lightning struck St. Peter's Basilica twice immediately following the resignation of Pope Benedict XVI. Now, some people might not make anything of that, but lightning is something in sacred literature that uh, almost always carries spiritual connotation. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's evil, like when Jesus referred to Satan as falling like lightning. Who were these cautions concerning? Following Pope Benedict's unexpected resignation, the optimistic anticipation and hope for a new pope were high. However, a man assumed the role of the pontificate through feelingless means that are in opposition to the canonical laws. 
this individual who we will refer to as P. Francis has taken the position of Pope without proper legitimacy. He thus lacks recognition by many as an official Pope. The integrity of the election of the Pope relies on rules from the Code of Canon Law. According to Universi Dominici Gregis, or UDG, these rules govern various aspects of the papal voting process, including the conduct of the cardinal electors and elects. Two notable articles in this regard are UDG 81 and 82. UDG Section 81 is a decree related to the conduct of cardinal electors specifically concerning their non-participation from taking part in making any agreements, promises or commitments that could influence their vote in favour of a particular individual. UDG Section 82 restricts cardinals prior to the election from making any agreements or commitments that could influence their actions or decisions in the event of their election as Pope. University Domni Cigre Cis, Section 81 the cardinal electors shall further abstain from any form of pact, agreement, promise or other commitment of any kind which could oblige them to give or deny their vote to a person or persons. If this were in fact done even under oath, I decree that such a commitment shall be null and void and that no one shall be bound to observe it. And I hereby impose the penalty of excommunication lati sententiae. Universi Domni Cigrecis. Section 82. I likewise forbid the cardinals before the election to enter into any stipulations, committing themselves of common accord to a certain course of action, should one of them be elevated to the pontificate. These promises too, should any in fact be made, even under oath, I also declare null and void. Universi Domni Cigrecis Section 76 Should the election take place in a way other than that prescribed in the present constitution, or should the conditions laid down here not be observed, the election is for this very reason null and void. Without any need for a declaration on the matter, consequently, it confers no right on the one elected. The statement P. Francis gave to a major Italian newspaper, Il Messaggero, in 2014 clearly shows the invalidity of his election as the Pope due to his breaking these laws. I follow that which the cardinals requested during general congregations before the conclave. I'm going in that direction, the Council of Eight Cardinals, an external organism emerged from there. It was requested to help in performing the curia. My decisions are the fruit of the meetings before the conclave. I have done nothing alone. An influential and radical Colombian talk show host who was also the president of La Grande Columbia University and director of Tele Amiga Television Network, Jose Gallet, openly claimed that Pope Francis is a false prophet who is paving the way for the Antichrist and that Francis was elected by a mafia of cardinals. In an interview with El Espectador on September 3, 2017 in Spanish, Jose Gallet commented, Este es un papa ilegítimo. Ilegítimo porque fue nombrado no por el Espíritu Santo, sino por una mafia de cardenales. Mafia de cardenales es expresión que yo no uso. La utilizó precisamente el jefe de la conspiración, el cardenal Daniels, el cardenal europeo, jefe de la conspiración, que dijo que una mafia de cardenales, muerto de risa, con desparpajo y con, des, y con descaro. Él confesó y con maniobras politiqueras prohibidas por la Iglesia, Bajo pena de excomunión, esos cardenales eligieron a Francisco. Entonces, la, el origen de Francisco es uno, y no origen ilegítimo. A secret sect of cardinals has openly boasted in their pride and arrogance to plotting against the Catholic Church. The group wanted a drastic reform of the Church to make it much more modern and for Cardinal Jorge Bergoglio to head it. 
Cardinal Daniels, September 24, 2015. Op de groep van St. Gallen, dat is een soort naam die deftig is. Maar eigenlijk zeiden wij van onszelf en van die groep de maffia. Wanneer paus Johannes Paulus II sterft in 2005, schuift de groep al de huidige paus naar voren als zijn opvolgers. In 2013 heeft deze groep eigenlijk wel haar streven bereikt, namelijk met de keuze van paus Franciscus. Cardinal Godfried de Niels was a key member of the very St. Gallen mafia he mentioned in 2015. A group of powerful churchmen who worked behind the scenes to get Pope Francis elected in 2013. Their goal? According to historian Henry Sire, to gather these powerful, like-minded prelates together to use their vast networks of contacts to bring about what political analysts would recognize as regime change. Discarding priestly celibacy, offering communion to divorced and civilly remarried Catholics, voting for pro-abortion politicians, and normalizing homosexuality. According to German journalist and author Paul Bade, in an interview conducted by the National Catholic Register, at the invitation of Cardinal Silvestrini, the St. Gallen group met in Villa Nazareth. The purpose of the meeting? To prevent the election of Joseph Ratzinger. This meeting called by Silvestrini was held, according to Bade, only three days after Carol Wojtyła, or John Paul II's death. The 2005 conclave proved unsuccessful for the St. Gallen Mafia as Ratzinger was elected, but 2013 was another story. Pope Francis was the candidate of the St. Gallen lobby whose object is a change in church teaching, a relaxation of discipline on sexual morality. And this is what Pope Francis is implementing. We have come to a point that even simple people with little knowledge of doctrinal issues understand that we have a non-Catholic Pope, at least in strict sense of the term. Etc. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Argentina is one of them. Argentina Law 14346 Ill Treatment and Acts of Cruelty to Animals In Argentina, acts of cruelty and abuse to animal people can be punished with imprisonment of up to one year. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. Vegan. Because we are no killers. Radiant viewers, it has been a pleasure to have you accompany us today. Please tune in again next week as we explore more insights shared by the gentle St. Francis of Assisi vegetarian. Coming up next is beloved Ethiopian Emperor, His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie I, part one of two, right after noteworthy news. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May your spiritual path be uplifted by the infinite love of the celestial realms. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven Godspeed. Russia, leave Ukraine or Ukraine now. Peace be with you too. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AP. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique AP. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada AP. Sade program pesh kar dehan anek par shava. Kirpa dekho. 
ਸੁਪਰੀਮ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਟੀਵੀ ਡਾਟ ਕਾਮ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ ਸਲੈਸ਼ ਸਕੇਡਿਊਲ ਅਤੇ ਸੁਪਰੀਮ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਟੀਵੀ ਡਾਟ ਕਾਮ ਫਾਰਵਰ